So the plan is to doorstep Nigel Barwell. The reason we're doing that is we want to put to him, obviously, the information that we've got, and I'll put certain questions to him and obviously give him the opportunity to respond. Nigel Barwell, Mark Williams Thomas, you obviously know who I am. Nigel, I want to talk to you about the disappearance of Nicola Payne and what you were doing on Saturday the 14th of November. You claim to be in rugby, but you know that's not true, don't you? Nigel, just talk to me, come on. You haven't talked, you've never given an interview. This is your opportunity to say what you want to say. You can deny it, deny it to me, just talk to me. So what were you doing on that Saturday? Because I've got information, witnesses who knew you, who know you and knew you at the time, and they said that you were actually in Coventry. You weren't in rugby. They also know, they also know that you were at the cook's house on that morning. That's true, isn't it? Come on, Nigel Barwell, talk to me. And what about this audio recording I've got of you phoning up about the disappearance of Barbara Finn? Mr. Barwell, come on. Barbara Finn, do you know all about that? Why did you phone the police and make a 999 call about Barbara Finn? Come on, talk to me. Yeah, why did you do that? Why did you, you're gonna, don't shut the door on me. Come on, talk to me. Nigel, talk to me, come on. Come on, talk to me. Nigel, talk to me, come on. Come on, let's talk to me. Come on, talk to me. You're not gonna talk to me? Well, that was a real shame. I gave Nigel Barwell the opportunity. There's a lot of evidence against him in relation to the disappearance of Nicola Payne. I just wanted him to tell me that on that Saturday, he was, as he claims to be, in rugby. We've got compelling evidence from witnesses who say, actually, he was in Coventry, and they know him with his Capri on that morning. That's a real shame. He had an opportunity to deny it all, didn't want to talk to me.